dice stacking. I need you to know this is the most aggravated I've ever been and probably ever will be learning a skill. Keep in mind, every time you hear this, I died. A little bit on the inside it was the most infuriating sound i hated it oh also this montage that you're about to see i mean opening montage not sure why but i think it's my second montage ever so it's really really good enjoy this is dice stacking Oh, I know, I know there's a lot to unpack there. Um, first of all, if you're thinking, wow, David, your editing is really coming along. Thank you for noticing. I appreciate that. Second of all, if you notice that I didn't have casino dice, very astute observation. You need casino dice for this. Um, I don't know why I tried to, like Boyd even said it in his video. Anyway, you need casino dice. Um, I also didn't have the right kind of cup, so I had to go find a tumbler. I never actually did find a tumbler. I ended up well, this is what I found. Okay. Went on a little shopping trip. I think I found the perfect solution. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that should be fine. Perfect. And then I just cut the top off, and you'll see how that works out. So, without further ado, this is dice stacking, or lack thereof, because I remember it being very hard. So, let's, let's just try. Let's see what I got. So my issue right now is I can get them in the cup. I can three into the cup pretty easily. Just about every time I can stack three. Then the fourth one comes down probably 70% of the time beside the other three. But I need it on top. And that's just four. I still need to get a fifth. And the fifth is like I might have gotten once or twice. So I don't understand what I should be doing different between three, like the third dice, and then the fourth and fifth die, or dice, I don't know, I don't know. So, that's where I'm at. Never got this far. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going wrong. So just to make, just to make my life easier, just to make it easier in my head, I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice with them already stacked and then see if I can place them. If I can get the placement, then that'll, I think make me a lot less frustrated. Day two, day three technically, but day two recently. I'm just gonna try to pick this up and then put it back down. It seems like when I slam them down, they continue spinning. So I think 
I'm spinning the cup too much. So they're spinning it around. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try them. Try to make them all on one side when I put it down. So like, kind of force them to that side and then put them down. I think that's my, my, might be my second. I think I might have did one the other day. Anyway, first real one where I know what I'm doing. Nice. So, practice made perfect. I started, I couldn't put the tower down. Every time I put it down, I just felt frustrated. I couldn't, I couldn't get it to stick. I couldn't get the tower to stay. So I just focused on that. I would pick up a full tower and I just put it down until I learned how to put it down all stacked. Um, what I ended up learning was you have to dip the cup, stack them all to the bottom, and then when you put them down, a lot of the time, once you do that, they come out stacked. Now the sad part about that is the most frustrating part is still to come. So I think I have to dip a little bit more. So it's dip, and then she's good. It's all about the dip. First one stacked. I've learned, I've learned a few different things so far, not many, enough. That was easily the most frustrated I've been learning anything. It was just an hour and a half of just constantly getting things wrong with no progress and no end in sight. It was, it was the worst. So I just, I had to take a couple hours, just take a breather, relax for a little bit and then get back at it.
hand on the side of the table. So I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen. At least I know I can do it. All I wanted was for that to count. Uh, like I tried to convince myself, let it count. Like I still stacked them, but no, I mean, I threw my cup on the floor. I knocked my tower. There's no way I could let that count. But if there's one silver lining from the whole thing is at least I knew I was close. Can you even see it? Look at this. What a magnificent tower. That might be my favorite skill that I've learned so far. I'm, I'm still not good at it. I I don't think I could get it first try by any means, but I know what I'm doing. Um, the biggest takeaways I would say, as long as you have the right cup and the right dice, when you have your tower in the cup and you're shaking it right before you place it down, do a little little dip and then put it down and that stacks them all to the bottom of the cup that helps a lot and the other thing that really helped was not going so fast i was going so fast in the beginning but it's just smooth and as long as you're not going too fast it's a lot easier anyway that is all i have um this is this one was pretty fun i gotta say as frustrating as it was i really did enjoy it uh, i hope you learned something you probably didn't more importantly i hope you enjoyed it's been good having you